Thus, in 1971, Joseph Hoffel and Richard Keating took several atomic clocks with them and flew around the Earth twice. A couple of other clocks they left on Earth. After the long journey, they compared the clocks. The time shown by the clocks they always had on the airplanes differed somewhat from the time indicated by clocks on Earth. Both special and general relativity played a role. Special relativity played a role because the experimenters were constantly in motion. Relative to the stationary clocks, their time ran either more slowly or more quickly, depending on whether they were flying with or against Earth's rotation, and the guys flew twice in both directions. And the influence of general relativity was that the experimenters spent most of their time at an altitude of about 9 kilometers above Earth, and, accordingly, time on their clocks flowed faster than on Earth's clocks. This time distortion is quite significant and is always accounted for in the GPS satellite system. Therefore, if not for relativity, you would not be able to travel using a navigator.